Well, good morning. It's the 29th of October and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had to uh, leave the high grounds today because of the high winds we had overnight and the rain and it's still pretty windy up on top at the top of the mountain up there. So I came down this valley and they just made the road new well the forest road uh, it's been just brand new made so that's pretty good and just let me explain that in German Also ich musste jetzt äh, oben vom Berg runter oder vom Sattel da oben und hier in das Tal reingehen weil es da oben noch viel zu windig ist jeder weiß in Deutschland hatten wir ja einen Sturm in Süden ist nicht ganz so schlimm Gott sei Dank gewesen wie in Norddeutschland aber desto trotz da oben ist es sehr windig und nass und jetzt wollte ich mal hier unten dann testen. Okay, where am I? Äh, so, wo bin ich denn? Also, heute bin ich genau hier unten drin. Right in there. And I don't, have a, I don't even have a historic map for it. Also ich habe noch nicht mal eine historische Karte bis jetzt hierfür. Ich weiß nur, da hinten ist die Zugbrücke the Deininger Zugbrücke. It's a dining train bridge and it's the oldest iron built train bridge in Bavaria and I also believe it's the highest one and it's definitely the oldest. It's the first train bridge that actually was built between Nuremberg and Regensburg in the late 1800s. It's the oldest and highest noch vorhandene Eisenbrücke in Bayern. This is only for Bavaria, not for the whole of Europe or Germany or anything like that, because England has uh, quite a few old ones and they were the first ones to actually build the steam trains as we remember in Europe. So this is a uh, right afterwards and the old mill, Lava Mühle, people to ask if they could see it. No, the owner doesn't want us to see it. As a visitor mark is nicht. I don't know if you can see, there's a train going over the bridge right now. So, no pictures of the mill. He's very um, sensitive on that. So, I'm going to try this area right here. There has been spearheads found down here, just by farmers farming, and they're in the museum already. And this is not a protected area. There's a chapel a little bit further down called the Uris Kapelle. And I don't quite know exactly where from this location it is. And that's a protected area, just the Ulrich Kapelle that was built in the 1720s or something like that. Also, da ist noch die Ulrich Kapelle, die ist auf alle Fälle denkmalgeschützt. Dieses Gebiet hier selber ist kein Bodendenkmal oder Denkmalschutz drauf. So, the rain has stopped, so let's go detecting. Also, der Regen hat jetzt gestoppt, dann können wir mal ein bisschen suchen. And first find of the day, El Paco. Und der erste Fund heute, eine alte Schnalle. I have to clean it up later, not in this cold water. Coming down. So, let's carry So, after detecting now for half an hour on this field, or, uh, and only finding that one buckle, I have decided to give up on it and carry move to a different location and see what we can find there. The other part of the field, as you can see, the grass is very, very high. It's about two feet high and there's no chance of getting through. So I'm going to leave this area. Never know, maybe better luck maybe next year when it's all harvested again and see what uh, comes up. Also, ich bin jetzt uh, knapp eine halbe Stunde hier über uh, dieses Teil gegangen. Eine einzige Schnalle, wie gesagt, kein anderes Fundstück, also, also überhaupt nichts anderes, viel zu sauber. Also werde ich jetzt mich jetzt woanders hin befinden, bewegen. Mal schauen, wo es mich hinbringt. And it, actually there was nothing at all, just this one buckle. I just wanted to say again, that no other finds, no crap, no rubbish, no nothing, just that one buckle. So, time to move on. Beautiful stream. Schönes kleiner Bachlauf noch. 
I was hoping because of the stream there was some, maybe something a little bit better here. Okay. So, I have now moved on and took me 10 minutes to drive here. So, I have now 10 minutes and I have to go to the car. And I'm between Waltersberg and Rostar. And I've already done permission number one, had some nice horse brass up there. Permission number three, we've already done. If you remember with the papa bulls, I found up in this corner right here. So today, uh, and I had silver coin in here on this part right there. And today I want to do a little test run on number four, actually, I think. And I don't know if you can actually see it properly. Looks like it's blinding a little bit, the uh, light. And number four isn't showing anything really good but you never know i mean this uh, area has been already uh, for over three thousand years people have been living here so so that's uh, number one right there number four number two is at the top i'm done a lot there and you can see the dark patch in the back that's number three and if you follow the finger up at the end roughly where you see the tree single tree right there is where i found the papa bulls the seals i found a couple of seals and I, in the field itself i found the silver coin as in the braunfeld unten had ich silbermünzen and oben in the nähe von den ein baum da is dann habe ich ein paar schöne bleisiegel gefunden eins davon nennt man einen papa bull seal in englischen und wird auch glaube ich so in deutsch genannt also ich habe sehr schnell gefunden nachdem ich darauf hingewiesen worden bin und das war so aus dem äh, 980 nach christus bleisiegel konstantinopel und war sehr schön und das ist da oben gewesen so i'm going to try this pasture right here absolutely wind still down here i don't know if you can see the clouds how fast they're moving at the top and let's see. Also, schauen wir mal, was wir hier finden. So, first find on the permission number four. Also, erste von jetzt auf Nummer vier. And I'm walking just straight across. I'm not doing anything systematically today. I'm just testing and see if I can find anything at all. Also, ich mache hier jetzt nichts mit System auf dieser Wiese momentan, weil es einfach nur ein Testlauf sein soll, ob ich überhaupt was hier finde. Und da finde ich es immer am besten, wenn ich einfach nur kreuz und quer gehe. Und schauen wir mal, was man so findet an Müll und so weiter. Und das ist immer ganz gut. Dann Okay, a little bit deeper. Also, so like I said, I like doing the permissions like crisscross because then I get a rough idea of what I can find, how much trash is there, is there a lot of trash or not. So this seems to be a little bit deeper. Hopefully it's not a drainage pipe or anything like that. Hoffentlich haben wir hier keine ähm, Drainage Leitung drin. Wouldn't be the first time I've dug a drainage pipe. Hmm. Okay, let me stop filming. Also hier mal auf zu filmen und schauen mal was ich. So there you go. Totally corroded lid with a piece of sock or cloth on it. So, so ein ganz vergammelter Deckel mit einem alten Stück ähm, Stoff noch dran. Not too bad. Okay, let's close the hole. Also lass uns mal das Loch wieder zumachen. So, and when you dig a hole, you're supposed to close it. I just brought the trash into the cars too. Bulky to carry around. Also ich habe wieder das Teil jetzt zum Auto schnell zurückgebracht. And as you can see, a little bit of dirt, it'll rain in. Nur ein bisschen drecken, das wird sich einregnen. And that's it. So, second find from this permission. 
better than the last one. At least I got two finds now. <laughs> um, sits on the wood, the wood goes here, and then <clears throat> it's a farming equipment uh, from the Bauer and Alte uh material. And the car is right at the bottom. <laughs> okay, right, so. so next signal coming in as the pull tab and jumping a little bit. And as next signal springt a bit between pull tab and five cents. And so we mal. Okay, let's see. Big eye ring again. Good, nice ring wieder. Wieder ein Stück Schrott. Another piece of rock so, Back at home. And what did the morning bring? Our old lid. There you go. Also einen alten Deckel hat er morgen gebracht bisher. A piece of a grass cutter. Also ein Teil von einem Rasenschneider. A piece of iron. Number one. Number two. And the buckle. That's it. Also. Noch ein Eisenteil ist von den Holzstück, wo es mit stabilisiert wird. Das ist vom Einhängegeschirr von den Ochsen. This is actually from the ox or horse cart where they hang in the animals and the buckle. Und natürlich dann noch die Schnalle. Das war's. Okay. So, good afternoon, back out again, I'm today for mission 21, this is Max, the mill, I've been here by Feld 21, will ich heute machen, 21 goes all the way across, you should know that already, and let's see, I should have, well, can't see right now, Don't know where the historical map is right now, but it doesn't matter. So, I'm at the mill right now, as you can see. I also, I'm now at the mill from Max. There, hinten, uh, that's a saw mill right there, and that's a corn mill. And this mill has already been around since 1641. That's the first mentioned in the new times after the Thirty Year War. And his chickens, obviously. Uh, so, the field is right here the permission and i see my battery is getting low also here is done the genehmigung no? where the trees are at the back is off limits and we'll see what we can find i uh, find here hopefully a little bit better than the other permissions and let's say we'll see also hopefully it's this genehmigung a bit better because it's already a very old land it's also been very used and then we'll see so let's So, first find, just actually walked from the car into the field and seems to be a very old, actually very very old, um, horseshoe. There you go. Very nice. Very good. So, this area right here is off limits. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool, you can actually see the, right, the border right here. And you can see there are dips in there and stuff like that and so on. Um, this is an area protected because of a settlement that's supposed to be from the urn times. Also Urnfelder Siedlung soll das hier mal gewesen sein. Und deswegen ist es Denkmal geschützt, gehen wir nicht drauf. So we're not going to detect on there, but right next to it, there's the farm right there. Our village at the back. I don't know if you can see any of it. I can't zoom in with my old camera. So this area right here is all good. I can uh, detect on it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay a little bit away. So away from the off limits area. That's what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to stay away roughly 
50 meters, not quite 50 meters, but roughly. Okay, also ich bleibe ungefähr 50 Meter von den Rand weg, von diesem denkmalgeschützten Gebiet, weil man soll immer ein bisschen wegbleiben, ist auch in Ordnung. Wir haben so viel Platz hier zum Sondeln, dass ich nicht unbedingt da drauf muss und da wir wissen, dass da was ist, soll es auch da bleiben. And like, like I just said in German, if you know there is a heritage site, stay off it. You know, we have so much ground in the world to detect. We don't need to actually go somewhere to steal and rob out historical stuff where we know there's stuff there. The archaeologists should do that. That's not our job. Also the archaeologists sollen sowas machen. Das ist nicht unsere Arbeit, um sowas zu machen. So, just got a nice signal. My camera is pretty low on battery. That's why I'm not filming every single part. And this actually seems very old. And seems to be some religious ornament. Also jetzt scheint etwas religi ein religiöses Kreuz vielleicht zu sein. There's a piece missing at the bottom. So this could be the hanger. And we'll see what it looks like when it's cleaned up. And then schauen wir mal, wie es ausschaut, wenn es dann sauber ist. Schön. Very nice. So, next find, nice little sharp tip of something, but with a hole in the bottom here. So, not quite sure what it is, or what it's from. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, was es ist, es ist jedenfalls sehr spitz geformt und hat ein Loch in der Mitte aber und geht dann wieder hier vorne zu. Also keine Ahnung, was das sein könnte. Ne? And if you're wondering why I'm not filming the beeps, it's actually because my battery is pretty empty of the camera. I don't come with so to clear. satisfy all my viewers. There's your beep and it's coming in at one cent roughly. And about four inches. Ungefähr vier inches. Also ich weiß manche meine Zuschauer mögen das Gepiepse. Und da habt das jetzt also zwischen 1 Cent, a little bit below, the 1 Cent and 10 Cent actually, so. Und zwischen 2 bis 4 Inches, also zwischen 5,2 bis 10,4 Zentimeter circa. Schauen wir mal. Like I thought, roughly, well I didn't quite, I wasn't quite sure, but I thought, already thought so. A schöner Eisenring wieder. A nice little iron ring. Double toner, but actually it was very solid tone this time. But deep, about the uh, four inches. Also ungefähr die 10 cm war es schon tief. So, today, this afternoon finds and the buckle from this morning. Also das ist die Gürtelschnelle von heute Morgen, jetzt gereinigt. And this afternoon finds from permission number 22. I believe, or 21. <laughs> it's always stupid to consider what number I'm on. I feel it very hard at the moment to remember with all the permissions I'm doing. I mean, it's more than I'm not sure if I'm 21 or 22, if I'm in the middle of it. But it's written on the video. Drauf. Okay. Um, so, what we got? Iron ring. And I'll show you it's very easy to get this rust off actually you just have to hammer it very uh, slightly and then you can get it off so that's easy and den rust kriegt man eigentlich relativ einfach ab indem man ganz leicht drauf hämmert aber vorsichtig sollte man es auch machen denn nicht mit hoher gewalt um, das ist keine fallspitze this is not an arrowhead it is actually from a door to close it and that will be in the door somewhere and then you can it's broken off at the side, most likely. So that's what this is, it's not an arrowhead, so I know that. Uh, the horseshoe. The horseshoe is most likely Swedish, so from the Sweden war. So we're talking about 400 years old right there. Some say it's Hun from the Huns, but the Huns, the horses were much smaller normally. So this is actually Swedish. Uh, das dürfte von der Schwedenkrieg sein, dieses Hufeisen. Ähm, manche sagen dazu auch Hundeneisen, stimmt aber nicht ganz, weil die Hunde ihre Pferde viel, viel kleiner waren. Und das hier dürfte Schwedenkrieg sein. 
and the next last piece is part of a crucifix what we say or from a cross and I'll make a picture it's uh, too dark now to actually film it properly there's only a little bit left of the engravement at the top here and both sides are very badly worn I don't know what's been eating it up the metal's been eaten pretty bad I just see it's entitled from a crucifix or religious cross as we can say can one also really view this quite um leider sehr zerfressen durch irgendeine durch den Boden wahrscheinlich nur ein ganz bisschen übrig geblieben oben an der Ecke von der Gravierung aber mai ist halt so that's the way it is okay